all right have and have not fans now in this video um we're going to be talking about the the scene that occurred in last week's episode uh enough between david and veronica two different videos or i could just cram it into one basically uh the topic of you know veronica will she really stop drinking and go sober and is David going to fall for Veronica again? It'll probably be short videos. I'll just do two. In this video, let's focus on Veronica and if she'll really stop drinking. Because if you really think about it, drunk Veronica has been a, more of a presence in <laughs> the last season or so. The haves and the have-nots and sober Veronica. Like, she's always been mentally unstable. But the drinking just took it to a new level. But I, I guess the question is this. Will she really stop drinking? You know what? I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Let's say Veronica does stop drinking, but that doesn't really equate to her going into rehab, which is something that David mentioned way back in the episode. Enough is enough. But I think the scary part about it is, is if Veronica doesn't drink, sure, the craziness might, you know, decrease. We might see a bit more level-headed Veronica, but that might actually lead to David's downfall. This is just me speculating here. But if you go back to season one, um, you know, during the the time when Catherine persuaded Veronica to be Benny's lawyer in order to get him out of jail after he was falsely arrested, you know, in the red sports car that Candace blackmailed from Jim that David planted drugs in to, in order to get Candace arrested and put away. That way she couldn't interfere with Jim and David's bid for the governor's mansion. But Benny got arrested instead because he was taking Darcy, not Marcy, Darcy, the nice girl from church on a date who just so happened to be played by the same actress as, you know, if loving you was wrong. So Veronica was on the case. And as she dug deeper into the case, remember, Jim and David were afraid because once Veronica looks into something, she's not going to rest until she figures it out. And then the truth came to the light. Now, with Veronica being level-headed from not drinking, could she open her eyes because her tunnel vision is gone and realize that she's being played by David? It could go either way. I think that it's possible that David is definitely going to be playing on Veronica's emotions in order to get the best of her to drop her guard and eventually take her out. Or on the flip side... Veronica can see this happen, no pun intended, well, technically pun intended with no tunnel vision, and then actually play the game against David to get the better of him. So I guess the main questions are, number one, do you really think Veronica will stop drinking? Number two, if she does stop drinking and become sober, how will her personality shift? Will she become nicer? Will she become come more kind will she still be short with people will she see david for who he truly is and what he's doing to her or will she actually just be caught up in the game because of her emotions and eventually meet her downfall because she dropped her guard let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i'd love to get your um you know a discussion going in the comment section on veronica's character shift if it does actually happen and uh just be aware you know hit that subscribe button because more videos are definitely coming on the way Thanks so much for making it to the end of this video. Be sure to click the thumbs up button if you like what you just saw. And if you have anything you would like to add to the video itself, go down to the comment section below and type out your thoughts. And I also have social media related to the haves and have nots, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook page, Facebook group. Links to everything will be in the description below. And if you like action figures, video games, and trading cards, I have an eBay store as well where there's free shipping on everything. But I also have a second YouTube channel that I'm working on where I talk about things that are non tyler Perry related, such as anime, superhero shows and movies, music, pop culture, and sometimes political news, depending on what the circumstances are. Be sure to check out that channel as well. In the top left-hand corner, you should see a picture of Candace Young. You can click on her to subscribe to the Haves and Have Nots review. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. And if you liked the video you just saw, be sure to check out the other two videos that should be popping up on the right-hand side. Trust me, if you like this video, you'll love them too. Once again, thanks so much for visiting my YouTube channel, and I'll talk to you in the next video.